Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see iOS 16.5 follow-up. It's been a week since Apple released iOS 16.5 for all compatible iPhone models and users who have updated shared their feedback and recently I have conducted a poll asking for what are the problems that they are facing after the update to iOS 16.5 and I also like to suggest some troubleshooting steps that you can try if you are a new iPhone user then you can do try these troubleshooting steps to see some fixes and improvements. As you can see from iPhone SE second generation onwards polling data clearly shows that some of them do have red color bars which means that the iOS 16.5 seems to be giving a bad performance in terms of battery and the overall performance in their iPhone while going through their comments I understand that there are two common problems that many of the iPhone users are facing after updating to iOS 16.5 as you can see some of them did mention that their phone is performing really good the battery performance is good after the iOS 16.5 update and some users majority of the users have mentioned that their battery drain is faster when it comes to the battery health it could be a refresh in you know the battery health section after each software update sometimes we see such reduce in battery health I have explained about it in sudden battery health reduce video in our channel I leave a link to that in the description also some simple and easy to follow battery health maintenance tips in the description and in the first comment as you can see some users are experiencing problem like freezing of the home screen when they try to receive a call there are minor bugs here and there and all you need to do is a simple restart of your iphone which helped me to fix any you know some services not being visible in the settings like sounds and haptics for some users the face id and passcode feature was not visible in the settings app and some users are seeing blank notifications so all these minor bugs can be fixed with a simple restart apart from that the two common problems that users were experiencing are fast battery drain after the 16.5 update overheating problem after this specific update when it comes to the battery performance with my iPhone 14 plus till I was 16.4 and 4.1 also I was experiencing 1.5 days I was getting 1.5 days battery backup for my normal usage like few minutes I check Instagram videos at frequent intervals and then I use Twitter and YouTube videos and shots and for that I normally get you know like one and a half days battery backup but after the update to the 16.5 I also noticed that my battery is kind of you know reaching its 20% limit when the last charge was 92% within that specific day this never happened before and I suspect that the 16.5 does have some battery drain related issues previously I also experienced some eating issues so yesterday I performed all settings reset and that kind of showing some positive improvement which I need to be you know sure about it after three to four days usage so about the fast battery drain if you are experiencing it in your iPhone don't forget to perform all settings reset by going to settings app general reset and then navigate to reset all settings this will not delete any of your data do not give erase and reset all settings just give reset all settings and it will simply reset all the system wide settings that you have kept the wi-fi passwords and all other system related customizations and settings that are available in the iphone settings app the very important thing after doing the all settings reset is taking control of the location and you know the permissions of it i leave a link to that specific video where iOS 16 battery saving tips video where in the first section itself I, I have explained how to take control of the location and privacy settings so do make sure to do that after all settings reset and definitely you will see some good improvement with the fast battery drain and you will be able to get through one day without any problem even your battery health is you know perfect it is above 86 percentage and with previous updates you never had this fast battery drain problem I'm also expecting Apple to release iOS 16. 5.1 in 
one or two very soon to address some ui related bugs and minor bugs here and there may also bring some battery fixes and improvements is what i believe and the next important problem that some users are facing is overheating problem if you are in india or in any other country that is currently going with the summer season then here for me in india the room temperature is crazy high so whenever i charge my iphone due to its metal design you know it gets heat up a lot and it takes time to you know reduce that heat compared to the previous months due to the summer season and this room temperature we, we all are seeing such increased temperature with our iphone and with any other electrical equipments that are connected to the power source so don't worry about it simply don't use the phone continuously for long time uh, when the phone is charging you know that will help to reduce the heating during the fast charging phase it does get heat but don't worry about it it automatically cools down and iphone have the mechanism to slow down the charging speed in order to reduce the internal temperature because whenever it reaches 35 degree celsius then it naturally shows the warning the phone is in high temperature and it needs to cool down but if you are seeing overheating problem when you are using the phone normally then it is important to perform all settings reset once just like the fast battery draining troubleshooting step you have to do the all settings reset and see for the next three to four days how it actually works if the problem repeats then you have to do iways restore when the battery health is good and if you're still experiencing overheating after the ios 16.5 update excluding the summer season being the important reason in your country then it is important to, to take a backup in your itunes with the help of computer and then you have to do and complete iOS restore. I'll leave some useful links for reference in the description and in the first comment. For any further questions, don't forget to use dailyter.com slash answers. And for more useful iPhone, iPad, and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.